All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, stomp your feet, and give it up for the cast of Conversation Pay! Work it, 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 Shout out the DJ over here, Tim Gray. Tim Gray is the man. Tim Gray I call him the man with the hands because he does. <laughs> not only is he a DJ, uh, you know what? I think I, I'll let you tell the audience a little bit about what you do. Okay, well, uh, hi guys. My name is Tim Gray. Yeah, I'm Tim. also the owner of Gray Therapy. We are a boutique massage therapy company located in Union Square. Uh, we like to point out the fact that we believe that wellness is, shouldn't be a sometime thing. It should be an always thing. Mm -hmm. Feeling good makes you do good. Am I right? Right. right. Yeah. And That's to make right. sure that we actually accommodate that, the fact that we have over 25 years experience in massage therapy and restorative care, we are also the only 24-hour massage therapy company in the country. Oh, my God. So you yes. have no excuses That's, That's major. of when and how you can recover. That's right. Thank you so yeah. much well, for that for commercial me. break. Yay. <laughs> Sponsored by Tim Gray. Um, so we have a special, two special co-coaches. I call them co-coaches <laughs> today. Um, tell us about yourself. Let's start with Cynthia. Hi. Well, um, I'm a, a here based in New York City, a personal trainer, run coach. I just started a YouTube channel called One, Running Around the Globe, where I'm documenting my training to the Boston Marathon. Awesome. Yeah. Woo. So check that out. Uh, the reason I started that is because um, I have a labrum tear in my hip, which is a very common injury among runners. It is torn cartilage that is in the hip, and I only actually run three days a week. Wow. So um, my training is focused a lot on those three core runs, but then on strength training, as well as Pilates and restorative treatments like massage, mm -hmm. and cold plunge pool, and doing the sauna, and things yeah, like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, it is important to have all those those Balance. things going on Correct. when you're training, especially when you're training for Boston. Boston is not, you know, that's a tough, tough race to get right. into. How yeah. long did it take you? Well, how many Bostons have you done and how long did yeah. it take you to well, qualify? This will be my second consecutive Boston, but it awesome. took me. Thank you. Yeah. That's a big deal. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, but it took me about six years to actually qualify for Boston. So wow. many, many times of failing mm -hmm. and not getting you know that BQ and that was really hard for me yeah. and, like people that are friends of mine qualifying for the race and then like me never feeling like I was good enough even though I knew that I could run those times or do those uh, the times in practice but then executing that race on marathon day mm -hmm. falling short of, of that BQ the by worst? seconds. Yeah seconds wow. is like the worst <laughs> and worse yet I mean like the last um, couple of years two or three years they um, lowered the um, the qualifying time, so you have to run even faster. So you have to run five minutes faster. You're like barely able to make that BQ time in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now you have to run it that much faster. Right. And then they have a new system where, uh, based on your age, okay, you get to go first if you ran like 20 minutes faster than your qualifying time, 15 That's minutes right. faster, 10 minutes yeah. faster. But how did you execute in the end? Because now you've done it twice. This will be my second, so I'm building up. It's 30 days from now, okay. so right around the corner. Um, so just building up for the building up for that. Just a lot of um, making sure it's not just the running, but also making sure I'm doing things like strength training. And I really feel like that's one thing that runners neglect. Yes, they think they it's do. run, 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 do yep. miles and miles and miles, and you know that's what leads to injury. Right? Exactly. So I did that exactly. For a long time, and then sort of had that wake up call that I needed to do things in different dimensions and mm -hmm. do things like you know, rowing or spinning and get my cardiovascular system working in mm -hmm. different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so. also lifting. I mean, and, yeah, weight yeah, lifting. I mean, you can't just keep doing cardio, cardio, cardio. Right. If you're going to be, you know, a good runner. You have to make sure that you do actual strength training and pick yeah. up some weights. Correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, weights come in handy, especially if you want to increase your speed. People don't realize that you know the posterior posterior chain needs to be developed hello coach nicole with ty hunter here so tell us a little bit about your fitness 
Couture line. Give us all the good. <laughs> the line, um, I was approached by uh, this wonderful lady named Ty, who's with over Foot Locker for 602. And the collaboration I did with Reflex is beyond amazing. I'm so excited to be here. But the line is, the I did an athleisure line. And I know women like yourself who work out it, but I wanted to take it up a notch and make it fun, make it not so serious. And you know, women go to the gym and they're wearing like black, gray, and white. I wanted to add color. They might do one pop, one or two pop of colors, but I wanted to, you know, it's bad enough to get up and go to the gym, but I wanted to make it where it's fun and less stress. Uh, fashion, people take fashion too serious. So I wanted to make it be very, very comfortable. The fabric is amazing. And that's the, the way, I, the lane I went in. And what I saw tonight, I have to say, I love it. Thank you. For her to say that, it's just I love it. And, I, and that was very, very important for me, for, for the woman of today, to have something not only comfortable, but also transform to something else. My, I, I literally went home and I had this opportunity. I sketched 86 pieces. Of course, I couldn't put out 86 pieces, but 22 pieces were done now. And if this does well, which God will make it happen, I... It will. Yeah. And then we go on into add the, the next installment of women who mean so much to me. Right. Yeah. So you heard it first here from the actual designer, Ty Hunter, and Coach Nicole yeah. approve. <laughs> I like that. <laughs>
everything can be from gym to going out to going shopping. And it's, it's a we way of dressing down, but you're still dressed up. Right. That's what I love about it. Yeah. <laughs> Karaoke queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. You look fabulous doing it. Though. Oh, yeah, she thank does. You. Now she really look fabulous. Yeah, doing and it. I, I, like I was saying, I actually did work out in this this morning. So, yeah, I, I love, love the little fabric. Not on yeah. yeah, she's cutting it I saw that. Yeah, she suggested like <laughs> it's you a like little something. Yeah. Yeah. Not. <laughs> and when she put it on, when she put the shirt on, she was like, "Oh, this feels so good." Yeah, this yeah. fabric soft. is really nice. Thank the fabric I love is it. amazing. It's I soft. Like, it's like co it's cozy. I like my own stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it's just for women on the go, like I said, so it was important. The fabric was more, the most important, and the quality yeah. was the most important thing. I was like, it's 23 pieces, but I'm like, if the quality is going to, I would I would just put out eight pieces versus, because it was very, very important to mm -hmm. have the best quality, and the feel of everything had to be right for the ladies. Yeah, mm -hmm. and my, my clients love it. Thank my you. My clients are loving. Thank you. And this one right here, I have these these uh, tights too. I love them oh, I so see. much. Thank they're you. breathable. They're soft. The mesh yeah. is, you know, just appealing. I just have to carry you guys with me everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> Great chilling. And I have to say, like we. It, People don't usually see me in a dress. I'm usually, uh, well, you know that. You've yeah. known me for all my life, so. But um, I really like wearing this dress. I'm gonna Thank just you, yeah. keep it on all day. I gotta give you guys some news you about up. Nicole. Growing up, <laughs> she was a Tom boy. Like, she beat up every boy. <laughs> And she climbed every tree and jumped off of every roof. <laughs> so, it's so, true. I'm telling you, but she was you so cute, and roof. like they would just let us. We would just let her. Because she's so cute. Really. We would let her beat us up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry but about that. He's I'm never so, gonna let me rip that not, one down. But I'm so proud of her doing this, and and you know being a coach, and that's just where you're supposed to be. I, I think knew I was, was going born to be. to be. The way I used to yeah, boss you around. Yeah, she all of us around. <laughs> the biggest guys Outside, and the thugs I'm in the stands. Like, oh, speaking right. of racing. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. we need to talk about that. <laughs> OK, she's talking yeah. about. No, go ahead. We had a, um, my team have, we have a master's team. So uh, we really need more master's women. And Nicole is one of my ladies. and. You need it I'm run. coming back. I'm coming back. I promise you, I'm coming All back. Right. There was just a five. Point. And you know who I'm gonna have train me? <laughs> me. Wanna? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. No, I'm gonna Ooh. have. I think I'm going to pick one of the best coaches in New York City. <laughs> Last name starts with an H. Happens to be a guest on the show, and we're gonna come right back with the amazing coach. Howards, plural. All right? <laughs> yes. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy you guys finally made it. I Did am he? too. Yes, yeah. yes. They, the DJ loves playing music. <laughs> he, loves, he, can't, he loves the song. It's the song. It's the show's theme song. But um, so the reason why we wanted you here is because we want our audience to know how special you are and what you mean to the New York City running community, but not just New York City. You have other things that you've been doing that we want to find out about. So let's start with a little bit about your running history and also one of my favorite questions, and I know I've asked you this before, um, how you met. <laughs> oh, you I was gonna ask it's that. a great it's a great story. Okay, so let's start with um Asteria. Let's start with your running background. When did you start running? Well it's it's something which like uh, they were saying about you. And uh I was like a Tom girl. <laughs> Tom girl. No, because I won it because they pushed me to be. Yes. And on uh, my neighborhood on uh we have mostly guys, and uh, the girls, they were older than me, and I used to do all what they do. Right. I was copying, mm -hmm. and I used to, but I, my intention, it was no be a runner. Hmm. But I want to be in any sports. We started to play in basketball, volleyball, I used to play soccer with the guys. Anything yeah, they want to do, I was mm -hmm. doing. Yep. When I was the last year in high school, I was not taking P classes, and uh, 
I don't know how come, uh, I was not happy with the PE teacher. Mm. And, but I was the captain in, at the school for all the sports. Wow. Uh, it was strange. Yes. And uh, one day, he came a, a coach to the school. I never saw him. And he said, we have to go to the basketball court, and I have to make the team to go to the meet. But no idea, no meaning about the track and field. Track and field. And no track we went field. to the basketball court, and he put us on a hit. Mm. I was on the first hit because I was really too short. <laughs> and, uh, but no tennis, no running shoes. And uh, he gave the start, he explained us, you have to run from this line to the other line, and then move on the side. Oh. The winners, they're going to send it to the finals, and then we're going to make the team. And uh, I knew I was good on running. Yeah. And uh, we started, and I saw myself on the half of the basketball court at the front. But my shoes came out. Oh. <laughs> and I went back to pick it up and put it on, and everybody passed me. <laughs> and, uh, oh, but I never pay no. attention. No. <laughs> I was just, uh, I thought, see me at the half court mm -hmm. is gonna mean something. Because I would have to look at it who is good, it started, all those things. And uh, we went back to the, to the classroom and he put it on the board, the names. And I haven't seen my name. And I stand up, I said, Anna, uh, Mr. Montaño, how about me? He looked at me and he said, no, how am I going to put you on the team? You were the last. Everybody passed you. And I said, but I'm the best of the whole school. Mm -hmm. How you don't going to pick me? He said, no, I, can. I saw how you did it. <gasps> and that's the result. I said, OK. Uh. I went back home and I told my dad, I said, dad, you know I'm fast. And my dad says, yes, I know, but no worries. If he's not going to take you on the team, you're going to go by yourself. Mm. And I started to run with my dog and my jump rope every single day. Every time, it was just running, 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 and jumping. Mm. And that time came, and I said, my dad, dad, how am I going to do? He said, no worries. Ask today if he's going to take you. And I went to the school, and I said, Mr. Montaño, are you going to put me on the team? He said, no. I said, OK. And I went back home. I said, Dad, it's no, I'm not going to be on the team. I said, no worries. You're going to take the bus. You're going to tell the driver to let you off at the bridge. <laughs> From the bridge, you're going to see far away the, la, the towers of the lights, which is the stereo. You're going to follow on the edge of the river until you're going to get the stereo. Mm -hmm. It was so easy, that explanation like that. And, uh, Number one, the bus, it takes 15 minutes to get it to the bridge. I took the bus. I told the driver, let me off on the uh, Rocha Bridge. And he said, this is the Rocha Bridge. You see the towers, you have to follow. Don't go nowhere. Follow the edge of the river. And I walk, I walk, I walk. I was tired. I said, when am I going to get it to the stereo? Finally, I got it, and I ran into And I saw, I said, where is it going to be? It was. We have like a 20 fields of soccer. We have pools. We have tennis courts. We have all the courts. It's a complex, big mm -hmm. complex. I said, what is going to be? And I saw a girl, which she was waving me. And I ran, and she said, I don't know you. I don't know you too. Why are you waving me? And I said, what are you doing here? I'm looking where the, the students are running. And uh, she said, you see that door? Go inside. That is the stadium, and you're going to see the track. And I ran, and when I got it, I said, oh, this is the track. And I looked at it around on the playground, and I saw the coach, and I wait, and he looked at me. You see, you came late, and you oh, are not good. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I, I look at him, and said, but I want to run. And the guy who was giving the star, it mm -hmm. was a German guy. Wow. And he said, you want to run? I said, yes. But I was on the bleachers on mm -hmm. the top. I was on the track. And he said, calm down. That but must have been. no idea how yeah. to get it to the track. I jumped the fence, and I put my skirt on the ground, my shoes off, and I 
went to the uh, to the track, it was left one line. Mm. And I look at it, the girls, they were making the holes. It was a dirt track, the holes with the spikes. Mm. And I said, oh, what is that? And with my toes, I did the same thing. I was <laughs> cupping all the moves. So we have to wrap up that real quick, but we'll come back to that in just a second. Digging holes in the track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those, I like to tell my story, it's very <laughs> quick. I was the number one runner when I was in 11th grade in Thomas Jefferson High School. I was the number one cross country runner and the number one clown. <laughs> so, and that, they failed me. Woodshop, nobody failed Woodshop. Woodshop? <laughs> and Wood math. Shop. So I didn't have enough credits. I didn't have a C average. So the coach said, you got to go to summer school and summer school was only offering algebra. Hey, I am, I failed general math. So I quit school and at the age of 17, joined the Air Force. Thir 22 years later, at the 39 years, I've been running for 39 years. And wow. I started when I was 39. So uh, oh. I was, I didn't know anything. The first race I ever ran, I ran a 505 mile with three weeks of training. Three, three months of training, I ran a 302. <laughs> A marathon. Wow. Jesus so, Christ. But I have, uh, just, to give you some, just to give you some idea, I have, uh, I have won over 50 national championships. Wow. All right. Amazing. You got to give it up. Yeah. I, I, have, I have won 16 world championships, eight gold, nice. four silver, and four bronze. Yes. Wow. I was, in, I was inducted into the, the Masters Hall of Fame in 2005. Right. But over that, I tell all the kids this. I, I dropped out of school when I was in 11th grade. After going to school 14 and a half years at night, I graduated from college with a BS, a, a bachelor's in. That is more important than any other, anything that I yes. ever accomplished. Yes. But my most important, I think, that I have is that I found Hysteria. Mm -hmm. I found her in my life. And Aww. we became... Uh, not only partners in as uh, as husband and wife, but with with everything we do, we both mm -hmm. eat vegetarian meals. We both do a lot of exercise. We both coach high, two high one high school and two middle schools, and we coach four senior centers all together. And we coach also uh, team for kids. Yes, that's amazing. So, so, so all I all I did, all I wanted to tell everybody. None of this came from me. It came through me from God has blessed me not only to be who I am and where I'm at, but he blessed me to, to meet this area. Well. Yes. So Aww. that's, that's my, where I'm at. And no matter what else I'm able to accomplish, I will always give the credit to God. Yeah. Okay, so you guys met. You are on competing teams. They're right. on competing teams yeah. when they met. Central Park Track Club. And the West Side, West Side. So they're two of New York City's most competitive teams, and they didn't like each other at first, yeah. right? But no. now look at you. Right. <laughs> look at you. Right. Right. And so tell us a little bit about what else you're doing. Um, the videos that I've seen about you guys bringing shoes to Bolivia, right? Um, how long have you been doing that? I'm doing that for. Ten years. Yeah, ten, ten years. years. Two and yeah. you've been funding this yourself. Yes. Right. So I you know. you get runners to donate their old running shoes, or you get people to donate new the running run shoes. shoes. The old running shoes. Yeah. Some they did they did a uh, new running shoes. Mm -hmm. And then she washes was, them. The, oh. the old shoes, the used shoes, I washed them and they got so nice. They look like a brand new. Okay. And I appreciate it really. That's amazing. And I do that because I, I remember I didn't have uh, shoes when I was running. Or they were too big and they ran, fell off when you were running. <laughs> no, no, after that, after the race, three months later, and I, my name it was on the team of my city to go to the nationals. I never knew it. My dad find out, and um, I didn't have shoes. And I went to the nationals, and I ran, and uh, without shoes. And yeah. they told me it's not allowed. And, uh, and the president of the federation gave me spikes. 
I used that, but after Ooh. that, he took me the spikes. Um, and it was so heartbreaking. My parents, oh. they couldn't afford to pay the, the right. spikes. That's why I said. That's why you uh, do that. Yeah. OK, so we, we um, got some shoes, gathered some shoes. Yeah, um, it's so, it's so beautiful, the, we, the little cart with the yeah, shoes. Yeah, we I brought got some shoes for you yeah, today. Yeah, and even the, the person who brought the most shoes happened to be Tim. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh thank you, Tim. He also does, a, he does another, um, uh, what is it, charity, shoe charity with uh, another organization here in New, well, New York. Well, I try to make sure that uh, there's enough people. Nowadays, I, I, I have a shoe problem. I get it from my mother, so uh, I blame my mom. But uh, you start to realize how much you want and how much you need. And uh, it bothers me when I see certain people just without, and I may have just too much. Nice. So uh, I, it was my honor to be able to support the, the cause today. So thank, thank you. you. Thank so you much. so much. We, we, want, we want you guys to have it. And we want to um, encourage other people to you know, donate. If you, if you want to contact the show, contact me, Coach Nicole, at conversation, conversationpace.com, and we'll come and get the shoes. And I'll, so you, I'll pick them up. Yeah, yeah. we'll come and get them. So don't worry. <laughs> and plus, Nicole, I do too. Uh, when I went back after ten years, I came here. I went back, and uh, the first thing I did is go to the track. Mm -hmm. It was no a track. It was soccer field, but I used to do my running on there. Uh -huh. And it was built up the track. And uh, when I look at the, the shoes, mm -hmm. and uh, it's so heartbreaking. And some. They, they run in the morning, and they let mm -hmm. use another person in the afternoon. Right. Even though that toes yeah. is out, but they still they use. Wow. That's why I said, Anna, I prefer them to be, even though it's no new shoes, but uh, at least they have something, something. to, to yeah. wear. Yeah. But well, we hope that yeah. we can, oh, we can help so a little much. bit. You know? Thank you. So thank you. you guys are amazing. Yay. Thank you and we want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Okay. And we will have you on again if you if you don't mind coming on, sharing some running tips no to problem. our runners and encouraging and inspiring no, it's us, a pleasure. as yeah. you always do every day. Every time I see you, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Thank we, you. We'll be on 42nd Street and 7th Avenue for that half a marathon. But I cheering the run. We're going to be oh, cheering. Oh my God! But I You're always gonna, at the races. I hear so. it's going to be snow, but it doesn't matter. It we're doesn't matter. There. They're always there. So yeah. again. <laughs> Let's play some music. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna end this show because we're out of time. I wish we had more time, but um, I want to thank you guys and thank you guys yeah, thank you. for letting us thank bring you. you up to speed on Conversation Pays. Right.